Hello, welcome to this lesson. Today's topic is ethics in succing chemicals. We want to look at the ethics in succing chemicals. First of all, what is the meaning of ethics? Ethics involves the general principles, beliefs, or value that affect the way people behave within a particular group or organization. So it is a general principle, is a value or belief, something that guides the behavior of people. But in succing chemicals, there are some ethics that is needed. There are ethical standards concerning the product quality, the handling of the product, distributing the product, and disposal of chemical generally. So let's talk about the ethics of succing chemicals. Number one, ethic of succing chemicals is that chemicals should be sourced through licensed vendors with high integrity to, affect, to avoid fake chemicals. Yes, in getting chemicals, we need to go to a licensed vendor, those who, are, who have been given the authority to sell chemicals so that we don't get fake products. And number two ethics of sourcing chemical is good handling techniques. Yes, good handling techniques. You know, it's advisable to strictly comply with specified directive at all times to avoid injury or loss of life because chemicals can be very dangerous and hazardous. Now, what are those good handling techniques? Number one, they look at the fire extinguisher. In case of an outbreak of fire, where chemicals are stored, or during the process of using chemicals, fire extinguisher should be provided to help contain that fire outburst. And secondly, chemicals should be kept away from extremely hot or cold temperature, extremely hot place. That's why most times when you see a chemical container, you see the right should be stored in a cool, dry place. So yes, chemicals should be kept away from extremely hot or cold temperature. Because if it's too hot, there are some chemicals that may explode. Or if it's too cold, there are some that may, their quality may be reduced. So in order to keep them in a good shape, on good states, chemicals should be kept in a cool, dry place. And another handling technique is chemicals should be kept out of the reach of children. Yes, chemicals should be kept in a place whereby children cannot easily have access to such place because it may be very harmful to them. Okay, so number three ethics of succing chemical is good distribution method. Yes, good distribution method. Chemicals can be hazardous and even very dangerous. Therefore, the most acceptable method of distribution should be used when distributing chemicals because it, it's, it can be very dangerous. So it is always advisable to find out from the manufacturer if in doubt, especially when chemicals are to be distributed over a long distance. Yeah, over a long distance. And the, there are some following things you must consider when distributing chemicals. I'll just give you some of those follow things. Number one is convenience. Now, the chemical must be distributed in such a way that it will be convenient for the consumer to handle. Yeah, to handle. Just imagine uh, you want to transport, give, sell a, an acid. It's a kind of chemical to a customer and you put such acid in a polythene bag. It may get, it may make the bag and therefore exposing the chemical. So you must consider the uh, consider the way of 
handling chemicals that chemical will be distributed in such a way that it will be convenient for cost consumers to handle. Then number two is information. They should contain information required by the consumer. So every chemical containers should have information telling the consumer about the ingredient in that chemical, what it contains. The next is protection. They must not be damaged. When chemicals are distributed, they must not be damaged in the process or where they are stored. Because if damages occur, its, its value or potency will be lost. The value of that chemical will be lost. All right, so let's move on to number four ethics of sourcing chemical. Number four is proper disposal of chemicals. Proper disposal of chemical. Chemicals should not be disposed with normal household waste. Just like we put our household waste in the waste bin in our houses. Chemicals are not just thrown away like that. So extreme care must be taken when disposing chemicals. We need to be very, very careful. Because there are some chemicals, if you just dispose them indiscriminately, it might pollute the environment, especially the air we breathe, or it might explode if it comes in contact with fire. So these are the ethics of sourcing chemicals. Now let's move forward. What then is chemical? Chemical is a substance with a density molecule composition that is produced by or used in chemical process. So chemical is a combination of different other ingredients. Now there are chemicals that are suitable for use. There are some chemicals that are suitable for use. I'll give you some of those, those some of it. Our number one example is sodium chloride. An example of sodium chloride is salt. And we use salt for what? For cooking. So you see, it is useful. Number two is hydrogen and oxygen. And these are the air we breathe in and out. It's a kind of chemical. Then number three is nitrogen. Nitrogen are gotten from both humans and animal waste. And they are used for making fertilizer to stimulate plant growth. Okay, but in so these are the chemicals that are suitable for our use. Now, just as we have chemicals that are suitable for use, we also have some others which are not suitable. They are not suitable. For example, hydrogen sulfide is a chemical that is that is poisonous when inhaled in reasonable quantity. Hydrogen sulfide, which is gotten from a manure pit. And then the next one is an androdeous harmonium gas. Androdeous harmonium gas. And this, this gas is very dangerous and uh, most times it's used for making of pesticide and pesticide. And if come in contact with the skin, it can lead to bone. And if you get in contact with your eyes, it may cause blindness. So it's a very serious gas. Then we also have carbon monoxide. Yeah, carbon monoxide, uh, those from smoke, for example, smoke from engines like car, exhaust, generator. You know, those smoke that is being emitted out from those engines is what we call carbon monoxide. And it is dangerous, it can kill if inhaled in very in reasonable quantity in a few minutes. So these are chemicals that are not suitable for use. All right, so that will bring us to the end of our lesson today. I hope you've learned something. Thank you for joining in. Have a nice time.